YouTube, hello Facebook, hello Instagram. It's your girl Mia. Just got off work not too long ago. Stopped by the store, did a haul, posted that video. So I'm letting you see what I'm doing here. Here I have, now I'm filming myself, so bear with me, people, so you can see. Here I have my marinara sauce. So I have diced tomatoes, mushrooms, because we love mushrooms in this house. Have my ground beef here. I'm gonna turn my skillet on. Have my noodles boiling here. Now remember, the packet says that you don't have to boil them, that they are already ready. Well, let me just tell you, Mia is not in the mood for crunchy lasagna today. Okay? So I am cooking my noodles. Not I don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to let them cook for about five minutes. And in this water, I have oil to keep them from sticking. And I have a little salt. Now, you can use kosher salt. That's more better anyway. It's better for you. We got to watch what we eat. I'm going to make some lasagna. I'm going to take some of this tomorrow for lunch. I don't want to keep eating out. We don't do that. We stopped doing that. So today I had a little American deli. I, only got, I got the smallest order I could get because I knew that I was coming home to cook. So here, I have seasoning, diced tomatoes, mushrooms, bell pepper, onions. Here is my ground beef. I got garlic powder, pepper, Italian seasoning, all of that mixed in here. So I'm going to let this come to a, let it cook. These are already coming to a boil, so I'm going to pull them off. Now remember here, I have one cup of fresh mushrooms I'm going to add to this. One cup of bell peppers I'm going to add to this. Now remember, my meat is already seasoned, so I don't have to add no more seasoning to it. Then I'm going to add a little bit over a cup of onions. Okay? So we're going to let that cook. Once these noodles are done to our liking, I'm going to pull them. So I'm going to pull them in the next minute and let them be draining. We're going to layer the lasagna. Now, you might not see me do the whole process because it's a long time to do this. So, this is how I lay mine. I do it. Ground beef, lasagna, salt. I mean, the sauce is in the mix. I'm going to mix this sauce with the meat. So, I do ground beef, noodles, whatever cheese you're using. Now, I use ricotta cheese, cottage cheese, feta cheese, mozzarella cheese, Cheddar cheese, Italian cheese, whatever cheese you like. So those are the processes. It should be layered. So I do meat, which is these two will be mixed together with the sauce. So it will be meat and sauce. They are combined. Lasagna, cheese, meat, lasagna, cheese. And you keep doing that until you come to the top and cover it with cheese. And you bake it off for about 30 to 45 minutes. To your liking. Now, I'm not in the mood for crunchy lasagna today. So, of course, I boiled mine. Now, you can buy these noodles here at the Dollar Tree. And they said they are, you just bake them. You don't need to boil them. I ain't doing that. I'm going to boil mine. And then we're going to have some good lasagna. Now, let me show you the pan I'm using. You can use whatever pan you want to use. Now, this is the pan that I am using to do my lasagna. So, remember, the key point is meat mixed with the sauce. Noodles, which is your lasagna. Cheese, whatever kind of cheese you like. Don't let nobody tell you what kind of cheese. Oh, you got to do it this way. Don't let nobody tell you what you got to do. You do it your way. It's your damn lasagna. Okay? Now, I'm going to come back and show you the final picture of what meal lasagna looks like. Also, I did pick up some green peas today. I picked up some green peas from the dollar store. One dollar. I picked up three bags. One dollar. So I could take my lunch. Because I'm trying to save money. And I suggest you do the same. So, therefore, we're going to let this cook. As you can hear it, it's sizzling. I'm going to mix them both. You got what I'm saying? Meat. With the sauce mixed together, lasagna, cheese, whatever cheese you like. You got to remember, you're going to stack it up like it's a nice taco. When you get through, you're going to leave it at the top. Place all your shredded cheese on top, and you're going to bake it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. You can't go wrong with this, people. 
You can't go wrong with this. Now, if you can't do this, you better hire me as your personal chef. I'm telling you right now, enough is enough. Now, I'm walking you through this process, and it should be easy. Sauce. Now, you might can't do it to perfection like Mia does it, but you do it your way. If you got to cheat and use ragu sauce, you do what you got to do. Okay? Now, Mia's going to come back and show you what that picture looks like. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get in the kitchen and make mistakes. It's all a part of learning. I've been doing this over 30 years. You can't be scared for your first time. Now get in there and make a mistake or two. And if he act like he don't like it, tell him to eat it. Eat it. Eat it right now. I worked hard on this. Okay? So you guys enjoy your evening. I'll be back with the final photo. And have a good night. Get you some wine, some beer, something. I got me a little glass or something.